I think so I found my anime of the season. I think so. Because I just watched three continuous episodes. I wish an hour watching this shit and I did not regret it. It's damn good. Like I enjoy this shit, okay? The Viking shit, I enjoy it. Any day. Like any day I enjoy anything that's related to Vikings because it's Vikings are damn cool. And I just like them. I don't know. But I want to talk about this anime just in general because I've heard a lot about Midland Saga and how good it is. And I will say that Vid Studios, they did a great job adapting this so far, okay? Now there's some animation errors, but I can pass on that just because I see some really good animation. Because there were some animation errors where you just see, uh, like, for example, at the start of the, uh, start of the episode one, episode one I'm talking about, uh, there is a certain arrow in his, uh, like, in his shoulder, and then it's, uh, kind of just not there. Like, it just goes away. <laughs> like, uh, without any explanation or anything. So, that's the reason why I said that there are certain things, like, there are certain animation flaws, but I'm gonna pass on that just because they do make up with, uh, for it by doing some beautiful animation. But, without, into without just talking about the animation, like, I'm just talking about the animation so far. Let's also talk about a story, because this is, this story is very intriguing for me, because I don't remember a Wyken story, okay? I don't remember shit where I've seen Wykens in anime. Just like I said something about Dr. Stones, I... I want to talk about Inland Saga too because this is something I haven't seen in anime done much. I haven't seen the Viking race actually, uh, like be the main focus of an anime. Never. That's never been my uh thing that I've seen. Uh, secondly, uh, the Vikings. The whole thing about the Vikings is that they are a major war war race I would say something like that and we get more of that shit in this which I personally love because I want to see some of that shit because there's a reason to why I like the Vikings because they uh, whenever I uh, hear about the Vikings story and stuff they always end up with a war and they ha always have like they will always worship war and stuff so I haven't read much into it but I do know they do worship wars and all that stuff that's basically what the Norse mythology was like back in the days and this takes place back in like the old old days when shit wasn't even discovered like they, these people are staying in like Iceland and shit and I'm like well okay and they are they are talking about Norway and all that shit I'm like playing like there is a lot of shit that wasn't discovered back in the days so the only things that I know about so far that are in this anime, the places I'm talking about are Norway, Iceland, uh, and England. Those are the three places that have been introduced so far in this anime so far. And I'm hoping there'll be more of those European states, that uh, states, European places, countries that we would know uh, more about in this anime because it's gonna be a long, like, I would say it's a long journey of sea. So I'm hoping like there is a lot more to it. Is other than that, we also get a lot of like. Uh, background I would say for that age because we see slaves and shit and and back in the day slaves was a major part of the European uh, countries and stuff because they used to have slaves and, st uh, and people do their work and all that stuff and we do get that glimpse of that in this uh, series too which I really really uh, think so is a point about the series because it's taken place in that age. It's taken place in that age where sh slaves were just a major part for a whole like kingdom or a whole like uh, what would I say? It's like the whole clan or stuff or just a single person buying slaves. And we also see that they are not buying slaves by coins and shit. They're buying slaves by ships and uh, sheeps, not ships, sheeps. They're buying, buying slaves by sheep and they basically are like selling like 
sheep and everything in exchange of slaves because food and all of this stuff in the northern area back in the days when the snow was really hard and they did not know like they did not have like the cover they have right now like they do not have warm clothes and stuff back in the days to actually cover themselves like we do have now in this this day and age uh they like sheeps and all these rations i would say were a huge deal and that's the reason why we see that dealing and stuff which i really appreciate because they are also showing us all the economical stuff that used to take place back in the days there is a lot of like stuff like this because one of the things that i really really saw when uh, like even though it wasn't done but i did see it and that was something i want to talk about is trading like trading was one of the biggest things that i saw in this uh this whole like three episodes i saw of this series because trading was one of the biggest things in back in the days again tr trading was like okay you are low on this certain ration you need it out of somewhere and you just have even today trading like global trading is a thing and all that stuff like yeah i get it but back in the days like it was more about which country do you want to go to which is the safest country to trade stuff because you can't trust each and every country for your trading routes and all that stuff because you can get invaded by pirates and shit you could get invaded like like the countries will throw you out for all that stuff like there was various stuff that was happening back in the days so like they did some good stuff with this uh this story here because they not, they not only like establish this world with like characters and stuff that are very interesting especially i like thor's well <laughs> the name kind of reminds me of thor but i know i know everybody will be reminded of thor because the name is very similar so thor's anyways uh what are the characters very interesting character indeed because he's a viking but he is some a viking who is given up on fighting and stuff which i really really want to see forward to because this man now cares about his family rather than okay here we go fight fights all that because you see that norse these norse these people who are staying there these uh people were celebrating when they were uh, when the announcement of was made that they're going on war and that's again like i said war like the norse worshipped uh it like the war was the biggest thing for them in life so war and wine if i'm correct was their biggest things that they would do but yeah they were all about the vikings were all about like wars and shit and they pretty much showed it they were uh, celebrating about the war and everything and this was a, this was a certain man who wasn't celebrating war and shit because he basically cares about his family he basically has shown he's shown compassion and all that stuff so that's the reason why he's more on the side of someone who is who just doesn't want to go in war because he has seen the bloody view of war and all this stuff and how many people have lost their lives just because of that stuff so i think so it's very obvious why he was acting like that and obviously he cares about his family the second thing that's that's another thing now all all that things aside i would just say one of the biggest things that i really loved about this series this first three episodes is just like this man going on the ship punching everybody he was he didn't even use a sword he just punched everybody and er now everybody's knocked out i think that that was pretty cool in my opinion that that was a pretty cool scene just in general and it was pretty like i i just don't have any words to put for those kind of scenes uh, where you just see a character do some cool shit and you know this character is not gonna be a lot for the, there for any longer because without any doubt Vidland Saga the poster I've seen it I know the kid is the main character that he's uh, that is traveling with this guy Thor's and I've also read the description which says Thor's Fiend uh, Thor's Fiend okay Thor's Fiend is the main character so it's obvious that this guy is not gonna be there for long or maybe he will be there and you don't know <laughs> what will happen but through at least through what I believe and uh, through what I have the anime knowledge that I've had from watching over like hundreds and hundreds of animes that I watched throughout my whole life <laughs> yeah I believe so Thor's Fiend yeah, his father is gonna die Thor's is gonna die and that's basically how it works out because that's just how you do and even in the three episodes we had some good character development it wasn't like you just get it all this stuff 
First, world building, amazing world building because I personally love the world building of all uh, that I've seen throughout this uh, three episodes that were released. Secondly, the whole character development, even though it's three episodes, there were some major character developments here and there, and which I really appreciate about that. We haven't seen all the character development, and one of the, and third, one of the biggest things that I want to talk about. This series takes things slow. It isn't feel. It doesn't feel like oh here it is and here it is rushed like crazy. It doesn't feel like that. They it feels like okay, this kid is. You've seen the main character's journey since he was a kid. You've seen it his, his, his journey since his, the start of his age. And he's six, I think, so right now. So that's the point where we see his journey from. Which I really, really I feel like that's pretty cool in my opinion. Because it's, it's just that the kid growing... Like, we have seen a character grow up. It's very rare to see an anime where characters actually stay since they were a kid and then grow up to be better because most of the characters start off to be okay here we go high school people so we are already in the high school we don't know anything about their past okay we know about their past now after like certain 50 odd episodes <laughs> so yeah it's good to know that we've seen and we actually see the main character's uh appearance from the start from his little age something that well, not a lot of anime do, <laughs> so really good. I uh, really good with that. And another thing, this anime kind of reminds me of the slowish start that Berserk had. Now, a lot of people will be like, "Wait, what does Midland Saga have to do anything with Berserk?" Now, <laughs> the reason why I say it reminds me of Berserk was because Berserk took its time. It took like seventy chapters to actually get to the main point of it and get to the demonic shit that we see in it uh, finally like see shit go down and we finally see all of the demonic shit that's just there uh, so yeah yeah that's what I'm talking about but that's what I'm talking about here too because this anime also Winland Saga was also taken its time it's taken three episodes and we're still not even halfway through what the description says if I'm correct because we're still watching the father's journey yet. We haven't watched the main character's journey yet. We're still watching the father's journey yet. The father who is the main character's father. <laughs> that is not, well, that makes some sense, right? <laughs> that makes some sense, okay? Yeah. Anyways. That's basically what I want to talk about in this uh, first three episodes. About the first three episodes of Midland Saga. Uh, firstly, I thought it was a pretty good journey for me for watching this past hour that I've watched uh, the three episodes that were released. And I personally thought it was pretty good. Like, Winland Saga, it had its animation flaws, okay? Story, so far, I, I'm freaking loving it. It's pretty good, and it's, it's a great story right now for me. It's damn good. That's just how I feel watching it. And obviously, I'm I'm a fan of the Vikings, so just watching Vikings pop up in it just makes me happy. Other than that, let me know what you think about the first three episodes of uh, Vinland Saga using the three golden three episode golden rule. Are you gonna continue the series or are you not gonna continue the series? And if you're gonna not continue the series, why would that be? Because personally, I think so. After watching the first three episodes, I think that most of the people that we see or we watch anime on daily basis would like to continue this series because it's just that good it's good okay so yeah let me know about that and i'll see you guys in the next video as always peace